Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a question about the reinforced concrete and question will be analyzing of a, a shear capacity of a beam. And so let's solve the question. Before we solve the question, if you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If I did anything wrong, please comment. I'm going to try to fix and make the channel and the videos uh, better for all of us. So let's pass the question. So now the first, I'm going to uh, try to show you uh, the FCTD and FCD design strength of the concrete and design strength of the shear reinforcement. Okay, so first I'm going to calculate 1.6 over 1.5. This coefficient to stay at the safe side. Megapascal. And the design strength of shear reinforcement. 220 over 1.5 equal to 191 megapascal. Okay, so now we got it. So let's calculate the area of uh, shear reinforcement. Look at here, it is phi 10. Okay, so phi 10, it's going to be something like that. When you want to calculate pi, multiply d squared over 4. And this is going to be 78.6 millimeter square. Okay. And uh, ASW. Look at here. When we uh, have a cross section from that uh, line, you are going to obtain four legs. Okay. So it's going to be four legs. And the number of legs is going to be four. Four multiplied 78.6. Sorry. Yeah. And this is going to be equal to 314.4, sorry, millimeter square. Okay. Now we have ASW. Uh, so now let's calculate the VR critical, VR, for the beam. So it's going to be calculated uh, like that. I'm going to show you. This is the formula. 0.52 multiplied FCTD for concrete and multiplied BW multiplied with d and multiplied the coefficient that shows it is beam or its column and plus a s w over s the spacing go between two stirrups this is okay and uh, multiplied f y w d and multiplied d but if you remember for uh, this yeah for this coefficient for the beams it is equal to one okay it's equal to one so let's apply the formula and determine the vr okay so vr equal to 0.52 multiplied fctd1 or 1.06 multiplied bw what is bw 400 now you can see 400 multiplied d let's check what is d look at here this is d is equal to d Sorry, this is equal to D, and this is 750, and multiplied 1. So, 1 is this coefficient. Plus, ASW, what is ASW? Let's check, 340, 314.4, over the spacing. So, spacing is going to 150, multiplied 191, and multiplied 750, and it's going to be equal to 465.3 kilo newton as the VR. Okay, so now let's calculate the design. Yeah, the design uh, shears. Look at here for this uh, that that and live load is given and the uh, 10 meters span. Okay, 10 meters span of the beam. So we are going to calculate like this. It's going to be, for example, PD. Now I have to calculate the Q actually. Yeah, design load. Q 1.4 multiplied dead load. I guess you remember. 1.6 multiplied live load. And from this formula, 1.4 multiplied 10 plus 1.6 multiplied 10. And this is equal to 30 kilo Newton meter. And now we are going to calculate the VD. Vd is equal to Q over L over 2. Okay, because this is the simply supported and it's going to divide 
uh, to two and half of this is going to be the left side and half of uh, the shoe is going to be the right side. So this is 30 multiplied 10, the length of the beam over two is 150 kilo Newton. Okay. Now we obtain also uh, the design uh, shear. So let's uh, calculate uh, the maximum shear B max. It's going to be equal to, sorry, 0.22 multiplied the uh, FCD design strength of the concrete and multiplied BW multiplied D. If you remember, this formula was for B. 0.22 multiplied FCD. What is FCD? The type of the concrete, look at here, type of the concrete C20, okay? 20 megapascal, I'm going to divide 0.5. The coefficient to stay at the safe side, and it's going to be 13.33 megapascal, okay? And this is FCD. So 13.33 and the multiply BW, 400 and multiply 750, the D. And this is going to be equal to 700, sorry, 877 kilo Newton. And now we got also the uh, maximum shear that's going to occur. So I'm going to make a comparison between the design shear and the maximum shear. So design shear, look at here, what is design shear? Is equal to 150, and it is smaller than Vmax maximum shear that occurs, 877 kN. Sorry, this will also be kN. And now you can see uh, the design shear is smaller than uh, the maximum shear. So we are going to write, write as does the brittle fail, brittle failery, failery is prevented okay this is going to behave as a duct eye so and then let's check uh, for the ratio of steel now we are going to make our checks and for the ratio of steel minimum raw this is for um the ties for the steel wraps okay this one so 0.3 multiplied fc Sorry, FCTD over FYWD. This is going to be equal to 0 0.3 multiplied 1 or 6 over 191. And from here, I'm going to obtain 0 0.0016. And let's calculate the, uh, now the ratio of steel that we use for this uh, cross section. It's going to be calculated like that. ASW, the area of the uh, steel wraps that we are going to use, and over B multiplied S. So this is going to be 314.4 over B, what is B? 400 multiplied 150. And this is the spacing of steel wraps, okay? So from here, I'm going to obtain 0 0.0052. And now you can see the ratio of steel, that we use, the steel uh, that we use is much more than the minimum steel uh, ratio. So we can say it is okay, but we are going to write as comparison to show the teacher also. So for example, minimum ratio of steel, smaller than the ratio of steel that we use. So the design is okay for this one. So let's check also for the spacing of the two steel wraps, okay? So for the sta spacing, sorry, check for spacing. Always trying to show your teacher or who is going to uh, check your studies or maybe your papers. So it's going to be better to be understood, okay? For this one, it's going to be S smaller than D over 2, okay? The spacing of any uh, between the two steel wraps has to be smaller than the D, okay? H minus D prime is equal to D. So 
is going to be smaller than the overture. So what is the S in this class and what's the spacing between the two stirrups? I guess you remember I just used here as 150 millimeter and it's also uh, shown in the question, always checking the questions. 150 millimeter, so one second, 150 millimeter. So it's going to be something like that. Uh, 150 millimeter smaller than d over 2. What is d? 750 over 2 is equal to 375 millimeter. So now you can see for this question, the, stira, the spacing between the two stirrups is also okay. So we can say the design is okay. So now the question is solved. If you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If I did anything wrong, please comment. I'm going to fix it. So see you for the next question.